she's de she's a deceased person. You have to give everything out back attached to the birth certificate because there's a constitution in Queensland, 2001, that provides peace, order, and good governance for that commercial entity, which is the birth certificate. So, if you don't want to come under that their foreign power and their law, give it all back. Do not be a contract or contracted to it. The other that you ask them a question and to this day they have never answered show show you where me your yes, father so and that client, your grandparents when I was in control. court I asked I asked them you now prove to me where my people have been naturalised where I ceded up sovereignty and my people or where you defeated me in war and they, they can't they can't they can't. They can't. So, your name, is your name the same as your name on the bill? No. Because no. so, yeah, you can't own that, eh? I, I'm not, I do not consent to that contract. Yeah, so you have a totally different name? A you're a totally different person? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yes. And when you come out of the system, if you're going to do something wrong, that's what your elders are there for. They're yeah. there to sort you yeah, out. That's yeah, that's right. Now, the other thing... You need just when they give you. Yep. Now, the other, I'll be very blunt with you. The elders have signed a lot of things that they did not understand. They didn't. It's not their fault. They were yeah. lied by the government. Yeah, 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 they were yeah, deceived. Yeah. And because of their misunderstanding, they abused them and they, they used them. They okay. Yes. That's yes. right. Yes. They forced upon them. Yes. It's legally null and void. That's, That's right. right. That's right. So okay. because all of these things were signed, it was signed against our rights as young people. Yeah, yes. right. okay. So now I had to step out of the system and get the elders thinking. Yeah. What have you got in place for her as a young person? There's not much set up. So my elders are working frantically now to set up our jurisdiction and our statehood. Mm. It is a huge job. I have to the most important thing here, the, the letter that I want to really mention, she received a letter from the government saying, now Nudjinj G, you are now deceased. You are nothing, you are nothing. So they had, see, they gave her the sovereignty. Yes. Yeah. Or they have no... No, no it's it's over it's nothing. It's gave her over None. because None. that the is, can't. it's a process, but it's a dangerous one. Mm. So you got to learn it properly. Don't yeah. jump into anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> so to us and her, see all this marching and flag and jumping around, it's all irrelevant. <laughs> Yeah. There is a way that bypasses it. Yeah. So you understand all that now? Yeah. But be careful, eh? Yes. Learn the steps yeah. and, and she can teach it to you. Uh, yeah, so the other thing, um, I notify the government agencies that I will be doing this, that I will be here mm. contesting this, challenging this. Yes. So I'm not walking into anything blindfolded. Yeah. Yeah. And they know that you're coming. Yeah, right? yeah they know. And uh, so they've got to get ready for you oh, now. Yeah. You have to inform them of your intention. So yeah. she informed them of her intention and um, they respond back. Yeah. And um, we don't accept mail, we only accept email because she doesn't have a postcode. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. remember, her jurisdiction yeah. doesn't have their copywritten yeah. postcode, yeah. 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 their copywritten address, their copywritten everything. She's outside into it, her own. Her jurisdiction don't jurisdiction. exist to them, yeah. all right? Yes. So okay. she's decolonising. She it has does to, exist, they accept it. You were there before us. Yes. Listen to this, it's better. Oh, yeah, come on, come here, come here. Listen, listen, listen. Enlighten me. Because if you're saying, um, well, if we're a foreign power, we're unlawful, all the rest of it, how is that? Were you here before us? So you prove all of that. And that's half proven anyway through your native title, descent yeah. contaminations. Because you had to prove statehood anyway. You had yes. to prove your jurisdiction, your population, your custom and law, your trading. You proved all of that. So they accept in native title, you have your own sovereign territorial jurisdiction. They prove, they accept you have your own statehood. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, just, uh, have you got an email? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you email can just, can you email the workshop with, with the, this with you to help you understand? Where are you going to do the workshop? Yeah. What we what we're thinking about is, you know, um, once you're here this year, yeah. um, what we need is there's a call for another gathering, yeah. you know, so we can get yeah. down to some tin tacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I think this is where, you know, we focus on if tribes want to do it and they make their declarations. It's important that um, you you follow a procedure under international law yeah, that's right. to that's take right. us outside of the system. Yeah. And there is an accepted international process which is called the Unilateral Declarations of Independence. Yes. Right. And so you, you've got to understand who you have to go through. It's now an internationally accepted method to free yourself from tyranny 
and from subjugation of a dominant state. So there's a road laid down. There is a road. There is a road laid down for so, all the tribes. So, yeah. so you can't so, make a blank so. statement. I'm sovereign. That's my land. You, it's easy. You find the contrary in their statutory law. Use it against them. Contrary oh. means where their laws don't meet. Yeah. It's breaching your human rights. Use it against them. And they cross each other. Yeah. And we can find Eddie. them left yes. right yes. Eddie. Yeah. Eddie. See, that's true sovereignty. The government recognise it. The world recognise it. So all this marching and all that is irrelevant if you want to go through sovereignty. Yeah. Treaties not involved with this thing. Okay. Yeah. You want to go sovereignty, but be careful. Yeah. There is a track. She's opened the way, she's opened the gate. Yeah. How did she start that? By the axe, learning the axe. Yeah, so well, get a yeah, copy yeah, of yeah. all the axe. Yeah. My sister there is a walking cyclopedia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. We've got, uh, we got every act known, yes. English and Australia. Yes. And we go through there and she's pulled out the ones that she can use against them. They couldn't yeah. say anything because it was their words. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the way you beat them, see? Yeah. Not by what you know, yeah. or, your yeah. <laughs> or your culture, or your culture, yeah, stuff on stuff. land and all that comes into it. Learn their stuff from them. But yeah. to beat the government yeah. is this act that they already written. They can't change it overnight and say, no, in the morning we change that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. the system and she blasted them out, yeah. see, yeah. by using And a young girl, yeah. we had to use her as a guinea sure. pig, yeah. Yeah. but she's done it. Yeah. Now the gate opened for everyone, but oh, she's done it for us. It's, yeah. it's, it's still Thank trial and error. Yeah, it's still say, is trial and error. We haven't come to the end yet. So that's we're all still on the journey, still is trial and error. Which is why we say to people, be very careful. We don't want martyrs, we don't want anyone locked up, yeah, yeah, yeah. chained, beaten by police. Because it is still trial and error. But we do let, we are very transparent, we tell everyone what we're doing. Don't emulate her yet, copy her yet, until we know. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. because we don't want anyone to be hurt or harmed. Safety comes first. Everyone needs to be safe. Yeah. Marissa, I salute you. Yeah, yeah. yeah Robin, hey, sorry to go, uh, Plato. Uh, I just, uh, Marissa and, uh, I don't Eddie. know, Eddie, Eddie. Uh, I just wondered about the uh, fraudulent constitution of Queensland where they turn uh, Queensland into the Brigalow Corporation and uh, how do you deal with that in terms of uh, you know it's happening here in New South Wales where uh, State Forest and uh, TSRs are probably in the hand, going to be in the hands of the Brigalow Corp which is registered in America by the Crown and uh, so nobody's really picking up on the issues of uh, land in Queensland, in your state particularly, where they're saying that the Brigalow Corp, so nobody owns land in Queensland, how do you uh, going to address that issue in relation to your sovereignty and um, how are we going to address it in New South Wales to and stop the, the Brigalow picking up more of the Crown land for, for nothing that goes back to the Crown? Before you give it a response to that, can I just say this um, on that on that point about nobody owns land in Queensland really, yeah, yeah. because it's owned by by the Brigalow Corporation. Yeah, there, there's an interesting thing when when we fought against the um, Ballon Shire Council, and we said we're not paying rates on our country. Um, interestingly enough, Justice Philippides in the Supreme Court of Queensland uh, made a very interesting um, ruling. She put a number of points in there about. Um, why she w didn't want to accept my arguments and our arguments in there against Brewer and the Shire Council and about ownership of land. And it's interesting that she put a number of things in there and, and didn't say we won or lost, she just dismissed the whole argument. But interestingly enough, it, when, you look at the last, when you look at the last paragraph of her decision in the Supreme Court, Justice Philippides said, the question of ownership of the land and entitlements, this is not between the state government and the Ualiai people. This is between the Ualiai people and the governor of the state of Queensland, who is the only person who can transfer land. Mm -hmm. 